Welcome to the Nonsensus in Detroit City, Michigan, once again at the Tech Fest, the DEMF. Uh, they call it something else these days. It's a big techno festival, and we're going to be asking the Magical Turtles here, what drug thing do you think should no longer be illegal and stigmatized as bad? I think the next drug that we should make legal is love. Probably shrooms. Let the streets get a taste of that, more of that. Legalize love, yo. I think we should legalize ketamine. <laughs> acid. Uh, I'd say acid. I think ketamine. That's the one that was originally for cats, right? Yeah, it's a, I think it's a cat anesthesia. It's like a tranquil drug. The next drug legal in America should be Ibogaine to cure all these dope fiends out here. They need real help. And it's like 80% uh, success rate. Ibogaine. Ibogaine. Made from the iboga root in Africa. What drug do you think we should work on destigmatizing, decriminalizing next? MDMA because it's lasting good effect. I think the medicinal use of ecstasy has been uh, looked at seriously in the in the medical literature. I think anything that that like, enhance peace and love, so I had to say E. What do you think we should make legal next? So what drug do you think we should legalize next? Mushrooms. You want to expound on that at all? It's natural, and it helps you learn. And they're fucking dope. It's quite effective. Fucking dope, yeah. as in, as in, uh, as in cool, as in an adjective for good, not dope, as in. Yeah. Well, also marijuana. Marijuana should be entirely legal. Cannabis is already legal. We're, we're worldwide. Entirely. Worldwide. Yep. Okay. Yep. Starting now. Well, that's okay. That's well, then strap for sure. So, sir, I noticed there are X's on your hand, which I think indicates that you're not about that life. But if you had to answer the question, what drug do you think we should legalize next? Well, thank you for noticing. Yes, I am a straight edge, but um, I'm not necessarily for nor against drugs. In my opinion, my drug of choice is music, life, and art. The best things in life are free. Those drugs can give me the ultimate high. So mushrooms. Yeah. Why not with shrooms and LSD and DMT things that? You get one answer. Oh, sorry. No, I mean, you, you just said several things. You, got, you have one thing. Okay. LSD then, for sure. LSD. LSD 25. I think we should legalize mushrooms because that's a great experience. They're one of the most beautiful things that I've ever experienced. It helps you learn and the government doesn't want you to know Stop that. Stop getting high. Yeah, repent of their sin or they're going to perish in hell like Jesus said. So keep them all illegal. God's still going to judge you even if it's legal. So even if they make something legal and you're still getting high, God's going to judge you. If it wasn't for mushrooms... I would never have seen God. Stop getting high, yeah, so because it's sorcery, and sorcerers will not inherit God's kingdom. So I'm against getting high. I agree with God. You should agree with God too, or you're gonna end up in hell. Only anything positive can come from mushrooms. So that's what I think. <laughs> I think magic mushrooms because apparently it's been proven that mushrooms can help treat depression, and it can help you realize what you're doing wrong in your life. Mushrooms. They're good. We're asking folks today what drug after cannabis should be legalized next. What do, you, what do you think about this question? The Bible says that if you are a drug user, you're going to end up in hell. And that's found in Galatians chapter 5. It's a work of the flesh. Sorcery, if you look it up, the, the Greek word for it is pharmakia, which means drug user. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17, the word of God says, If anyone defiles the temple of God, God will destroy him. For the temple of God is holy, which temple you are. We are not our own. We belong to the Lord, and we are accountable. I believe that DMT should be legalized after cannabis because if you use it correctly, it's a tool and can help you get to learn yourself and the world and it will find God inside of you because that's basically what we are. We are all God and the world is what we make of it and so we have to do our best and DMT can help you realize what you have to do In next. his word, it teaches that all souls belong to the Lord and you will be held accountable for your sin. I will be held accountable for my sin, but my sin has been washed in the blood of Jesus Christ by the blood of the Lamb because I walk in the light as Jesus Christ is in the light. I don't rely on my own righteousness. I mean, I'm a born again Christian. I have repented for my sin and I put my full faith and trust in Jesus Christ and he can save you from your sin. Repent and read the Bible. Seek the Lord. Thank you. LSD instead puts you in a happy head place. And when you surround yourself with good people that want to have a good time, it, it doesn't it doesn't stop. You know what I'm saying? I'm representing that East Burner life. You know what I'm saying? Petty boys, you know what I'm saying? We're asking what drugs should be legalized next. 
Yes. Danny bars. After after weed, what drugs? Molly. Danny bars. I should be legalized next. I'm a drug. I'm a drug to all these hoes. What should we do, cuz? What you think? Ecstasy. Fuck it. Everybody in the hood pop them. They do the do. There's too many people on this planet that rely on substances that can't get out of their own headspace. And alcohol and tobacco, it's just a part of the industry to keep you down in the dirt to stay in the rat wheel, man. LSD will get you out of the rat wheel and have you doing what you want to do, not listening to the government. The dolphin vote says LSD. I mean, if you're going to make a drug legal, you might as well make DMT legal. It's the one thing that's found in every living organism on, on the planet. So if we have a way to, to use it ourselves, to be able to touch those other worlds, why not? Why not be able to connect every living thing? If every living thing has it, then every living thing should be able to be connected that way. Ayahuasca. Ayahuasca. Ayahuasca or psilocybin. Just because you can reach a part of your subconscious that you can't normally reach when you are conscious. So... You can learn from things about yourself, you can learn things about other people. Um, just have a good understanding of the world and being connected with the earth. Have you ever tried DMT or anything that kind of takes you to another realm, I should say? Ayahuasca. Then you would understand that it's a beautiful thing, so that's the next thing I feel like should be legalized. 100% DMT. Meth. You want to expound on that? No. I think it should be acid. Like, I feel like acid is also a tool, like what he was saying about DMT. Like, you can really find out a lot about yourself and connect with other people on a more open mind state. And it's also like a therapy for, like, depression and things. Like, you can really find yourself. So, everything in moderation, basically. Mushrooms. You know? How about mushrooms? So, friends, I think it's been a thorough nonsensus. We got a, a variety of answers. A crystal meth. Crystal methamphetamines. A variety of, of, of passions. Huh? Chop, I make you front flip. Spark you like a blunt tip. What? Pop, pop, bang, bang. Got blood stains and that dumb shit. Huh? If I pop the smiley, baby, you can get your butt licked. What? Man, I swear. There's been some, some good old-fashioned democracy here at work today in Detroit City, Michigan at the Tech Fest thing. By the way, uh, we don't mean to suggest that there's anything about this particular festival that is somehow associated with illicit substance, drug stuff. It's just that there's a lot of folks here, and in order to conduct a non you need several people, and there's that here. Anyway, not usually at the end of a non I will then give my answer to the question that is posed, but because certain individuals uh, in this thing, I want to be respectful to those who seemed kind of anti-drug uh, by not making this video seem like it has some sort of a biased twist in the way of pro-drug stuff. So. Uh, I will uh, make a, a separate long form version of my answer of what currently illicit drug thing I think should be destigmatized and legalized next Go DMT. On. And that'll be its own thing. So I think it's been a thorough nonsense indeed. I love you all just for existing magical turtles. Democracy. It's quite a factor. I am a nonsense man living in the kitchen with the pots in hand. You are DMT. Go.